Why is renewable energy important in today's world, and how does hydropower fit into the picture? In an era where climate change is increasingly affecting our planet, the need for renewable energy sources has never been more crucial. As the global community strives to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, we're seeing a shift away from traditional fossil fuels and towards renewable energy sources. Among these sources, one stands out for its historical significance and its continued relevance. Hydropower. For centuries, humans have harnessed the power of moving water to generate electricity, from ancient water wheels to modern hydroelectric power plants. This energy source is not only renewable but also reliable, providing a steady stream of power that can be adjusted to meet changing demand. Hydropower's role in the renewable energy landscape is not to be underestimated. It symbolizes the potential of nature to meet our energy needs while helping to combat climate change. Hydropower, a renewable energy source, harnesses the power of moving water to generate electricity, making it a crucial player in the global renewable energy landscape. How does this renewable source, hydropower, convert the energy of moving water into electricity, you might wonder. Let's delve into the fascinating process. At the heart of hydropower generation is a consistent and reliable water source. This could be a river, a stream or a reservoir. The potential energy of the water depends on its elevation and flow rate. The higher the water source and the faster it flows, the more energy it can produce. Enter the hydroelectric power plant, a marvel of engineering that harnesses this energy. It all starts with a dam, but this isn't just any dam. It's a structure designed to create a reservoir that stores water, allowing for controlled release and regulation of water flow. It's like a huge water battery storing potential energy for when we need it. From the reservoir, water is funneled through a penstock, a large pipe that directs the water towards the power plant. The penstock plays a crucial role in the process, guiding the water to where it can do the most good, and that's where the turbines come in. These aren't your average windmill turbines, they're specifically designed to spin as water flows through them. As the water rushes past, it transfers its energy to the turbines, causing them to spin. This spinning action is where the magic happens. Attached to these turbines are generators. As the turbines spin, they drive the generators, converting the mechanical energy into electricity. The power produced is proportional to the flow rate and the height of the water, known as the head. The electricity generated is then transmitted through power lines, lighting up our homes, powering industries, and making our modern lifestyles possible. So through a series of steps, hydropower plants convert the energy of flowing water into electricity that powers our homes and industries. This is the essence of hydropower generation, a process that has been used for centuries and continues to play a significant role in global electricity generation. Hydropower isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. There are different types of systems, but what are they? Let's delve into the two main types of hydropower systems, run-of-river and reservoir-based systems. Run-of-river systems are a bit like the free spirits of the hydropower world. They use the natural flow of water without the need for significant storage. This makes them a great fit for rivers with a steady, consistent flow. It's like harnessing the power of a never-ending marathon runner, always moving, always generating. On the other hand, we have Reservoir-based systems, these are the strategic planners storing water in reservoirs behind dams. This provides control over water release and power generation. It's like having a battery that you can tap into whenever you need it, offering flexibility and reliability. So whether it's run-of-river or reservoir-based, the type of hydropower system used depends on the local environment and the consistency of water flow. Like any energy source, hydropower has its pros and cons. What are they? Let's begin with the upsides, shall we? Foremost, hydropower is a renewable energy source, meaning it can be replenished naturally. It relies on the water cycle, an ongoing process that's as old as Earth itself. That's a point in the sustainability column. Secondly, hydropower significantly reduces greenhouse gas emissions when compared to fossil fuel-based power generation. This makes it a key player in mitigating climate change and preserving our planet. Next up, reliability. Hydropower offers a stable and dispatchable power supply. It can respond rapidly to changes in electricity demand, ensuring the grid stays balanced and your gadgets stay charged. On top of this, hydropower also plays a pivotal role in water management. Hydroelectric dams can control floods, supply water for irrigation, and support various other water-related needs. This not only benefits agriculture but also helps maintain healthy ecosystems. Furthermore, hydropower infrastructure when properly maintained, can last for many decades, 
making it a long-term investment with enduring returns. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Hydropower has its share of disadvantages too. Large-scale hydropower projects can disrupt habitats, alter river ecosystems, and even displace local communities. It's a factor that can't be overlooked when considering the environmental impact. Land use is another concern. The infrastructure for hydropower, including reservoirs and dam sites, requires substantial land area. This can impact natural landscapes and biodiversity. Siltation is a further issue. Dams can lead to silt buildup in reservoirs, reducing their water storage capacity, impacting water quality, and affecting downstream ecosystems. Lastly, there are social and cultural concerns. Hydropower projects can face opposition due to issues related to indigenous rights, including land rights and cultural heritage preservation. Hydropower, like any other energy source, presents a balance of advantages and challenges that must be carefully considered. Indeed, our quest for clean, sustainable power is a journey of continuous learning and adaptation. We must navigate these pros and cons wisely as we harness the power of water for a brighter, more sustainable future. Despite its challenges, what does the future hold for hydropower? As we look forward, we see a world where hydropower continues to be a key player in the renewable energy sector. Although it presents its own unique challenges, the potential for sustainable and responsible hydropower development is immense. The coming years will witness a rise in the adoption of innovative hydropower technologies, like pumped storage systems, offering greater flexibility and efficiency. The focus will also shift towards minimizing the environmental and social impacts of hydropower projects. This means more transparent planning processes, better community engagement, and improved ecological designs to preserve biodiversity. In the face of climate change, the role of hydropower as a reliable, low-carbon power source becomes even more critical. By balancing the need for clean energy with environmental and social considerations, hydropower can continue to serve us well into the future. While the road ahead has challenges, hydropower remains a vital renewable energy source, playing a crucial role in a sustainable energy future.